The strength of the bioscience base in London is unparalleled, certainly within Europe, and it has very few comparators uh, in North America. The reason for that being you have Imperial College, University College, King's College, you have three powerhouses in, in bioscience, uh, a lot of other significant institutions, and 55 hospitals and medical schools within uh, the, the area of London. In addition to the funding that comes from government and charities, we have also funding that comes directly through the London Development Agency. And they have been particularly good at funding incubators. That is space for uh, good ideas that are coming out of the academic infrastructure, if you like, to be nurtured, to be developed before they become spin-out companies. Being a scientist in London presents fantastic opportunities. Um, for co collaborations, for interactions with my clinical colleagues who one day will take these cells into patients. Uh, the regulatory bodies are here, government agencies are here, you know, you're really networked in here. And I stay here because the UK has the best regulatory environment for doing embryonic stem cell research uh, perhaps anywhere in the world. Um, and, and Chris Mason and I from University College London have implemented something similar called the London Regenerative Medicine Network which is now about a thousand members strong, clinicians, basic scientists, people from the regulatory bodies, people from the charities, the media, patient advocacy groups, everyone who has a vested interest in seeing regenerative medicine flourish in London. One of the things I'd like to do is show that London and, and Britain is a place where you can make innovative companies which grow and develop. And London is the most exciting place to do that because of its resources. Whether we like it or not, in this country there's a huge gradient down towards London and that builds a community and people ready to do the work. My research laboratories are in the Dental Institute, which is based in King's College London. The Dental Institute is the largest and the most highly research rated of all the dental institutes in the UK. And together with that, being in London, there is so much research uh, in related areas that it really is a major advantage being here. We, we only have to walk around the corner if we need something. For our staff, London is the centre of the UK transport network, so people can get here very readily from north, south, east or west. For international visitors too, we have five major airports within an hour, and the Eurostar station is walking distance away. All of those make great reasons for being here, but London is also a very exciting city, and that means we can recruit the kind of lively, intelligent scientists we want to have. We looked all around the southeast for a place to locate Arrow as we grew the company. London turned out to be the cheapest, which was a surprise to us as much as anybody else. I can foresee us investing in several startup companies out of London. It offers tremendous advantages over other locations offshore because of the well-developed infrastructure for clinical development, access to the regulatory authorities, access to co-investors, and there's a sophisticated business environment here in London as well. London is uniquely positioned. It's surrounded by big pharma companies, GSK, Pfizer, Roche. And then within London itself, you've got all the key professional service providers that you need. You've got lawyers, the specialist PR agents and accountants that can all help work with biotech companies to build their business. For biotechs, London's a great place to grow up. There's an enormous wealth of intellectual property coming out of the medical schools, the research establishments, the universities. It's only an hour away by train from Oxford and from Cambridge. And being based in London, you're right on top of all the clinicians and all the people who can help to put your portfolio together and help develop your products.